Hello and welcome to our channel, where we take a closer look at the top players in the world of football. Today, we're focusing on Manchester United's captain and star midfielder, Bruno Fernandes. Since joining the Reds in January 2020, he has taken the Premier League by storm and established himself as one of the best players in the league. But before we dive into his impressive stats and highlights, let's take a look at 10 things you may not have known about Bruno Fernandes. From his childhood love for Manchester United to his unique goal celebration, there's a lot more to this Portuguese magnifico than meets the eye. Number 1. Passionate football fan Even though he's a lifelong Manchester United fan, Bruno also supported Sporting Clube de Portugal as a child due to his mother's influence. However, when he was given the opportunity to join Sporting in 2017, he instead chose to join Bovista because his parents didn't have a car to drive him to Sporting's training ground. Number 2. Could have played for the Swiss national team When Bruno was just 12 years old, his father, Jose Fernandez, wanted to move the family to Switzerland to improve their lifestyle. However, the young Bruno, who had already started playing football, refused to move because he believed the standard of football was not as high as in Portugal. His family eventually gave in and they stayed in Portugal, where Bruno's football career took off. Number 3. Started as a defender. In his youth, Bruno was a defender, but his coaches soon saw his potential as a midfielder and switched him to the number 10 position. This proved to be a wise move, as Bruno has since established himself as one of the best midfielders in the world. Number 4. Tribute to his father Bruno has a large number 8 tattoo on his right arm, which is a tribute to his father, who was also a football player and wore the number 8. The tattoo also represents his own birthday, as he was born on September 8th. Number 5. Family Man Bruno married his high school sweetheart when he was just 16, and they've been together ever since. She has supported him throughout his career, even moving with him to Italy in 2012 when he first left Portugal. They have two children together, a son and a daughter. Number 6. Bad Temper Despite his friendly and lighthearted personality off the field, Bruno is known to have a bad temper on the field. He was sent off in September 2019 in a match against his former club, Sporting CP, after getting into an argument with the referee. Number 7. Idolizes Steven Ireland Despite being a Manchester United fan, Bruno idolizes former Manchester City midfielder, Steven Ireland. He even had a poster of him in his bedroom. Interestingly, both men now live in the same neighborhood in Manchester. Number 8. Unique Goal Celebration Bruno's goal celebration is unique because he puts his hand around his ear, which is a tribute to his daughter. He said that he came up with the celebration after conversations with his wife and his daughter who would put her hands around her ears when she was a baby. Number 9. Relaxation Routine To relax, Bruno likes to take a 90-minute nap after lunch and eat a chocolate cereal. He also spends time with his kids and likes to lead a low-key lifestyle. Number 10. Brazilian Portuguese speakers Bruno is fluent in Brazilian Portuguese, which is different from the standard Portuguese spoken in Portugal. He hang around a lot with team players like Fred and Case Moreau. And there you have it, 10 things you probably didn't know about Bruno Fernandes, one of the most talented and successful players in the Premier League today. From his passion for football, to his family life and peculiar relaxation routine, there's no denying that Bruno has a lot more to him than just his incredible skills on the pitch. We hope you enjoyed learning more about him, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.